This week, Activision will shut down servers for their Guitar Hero TV service. So in this video, we're going to take a look back at Guitar Hero TV. Guitar Hero TV was a service that was launched back in 2015 with Guitar Hero Live. It consisted of two 24-7 music streaming channels that allowed players to jump in and out at will, allowing them to play a substantial library of tracks that covered a wide range of artists and genres. These music channels were set to specific rotations, so players would have to play the songs that were there rather than songs they chose. Players could also play any song on demand, but these required play tokens that could only be earned by playing songs on the streaming channels. While some players were critical of this, I actually quite liked it. These streaming channels made me play a ton of songs that I wouldn't have chosen for myself. And while that may sound like a bad thing, there were many times where I found myself enjoying songs that I wouldn't have thought I would have, or songs that I'd never heard before. This made me, and I'm sure many other players, explore the wider song catalogue rather than just playing the same few songs over and over. Guitar Hero's major competitor, Rock Band, also released a new game around the same time. Rock Band 4. One of the things the Rock Band series has been praised for is its massive library of DLC songs. These tracks have to be paid for individually or as part of albums. I can't help but think how great it would be to have a Guitar Hero TV style streaming service for the Rock Band DLC catalogue. One that enabled players to play songs from this massive library for free as part of the channel rotation, while also having the songs available for purchase that would allow players to play these songs offline and on demand. So why didn't Guitar Hero TV take off? Well, the game itself, Guitar Hero Live, wasn't a major success, and the music genre in video games really hasn't seen the resurgence that Activision or Harmonix were hoping for with their comeback titles. Which is unfortunate, as I felt Guitar Hero Live was an interesting step forward for this franchise. They tried something new and brought a fresh take to this kind of game, and it really allowed Guitar Hero and Rock Band to coexist and complement each other well. Where one represented the classic gameplay we loved from the past, the other was a new direction that managed to make a similar gameplay experience feel different. In this day and age where streaming services are the big thing, Guitar Hero TV seemed like the right move forward for this franchise, and honestly I thought this is where the future of these games was headed. But with the end of Guitar Hero TV, we're left wondering, could this be the end of the road for a once much loved franchise? Thanks for watching the video guys, remember to hit that like button, hit the bell as well, share the video around, and until next time, I guess we'll see you later. If you like this video, remember to leave a comment down below, like the video, share it around, subscribe, ring the bell, that's too many things to ask. <laughs> <laughs>